Hey everybody, and welcome to Pro on YouTube. Now, if you haven't been following me for the last couple of months, why aren't you following me? I'm actually here at the BAM Center in Alberta, Canada, and I have to say this is a dream come true. This place is amazing! And what's even more cool is the amount of concerts you get to go to, the amount of new music you get to listen to, and the amount of people you get to meet from all over the world. But coming here made me realize something that I didn't realize before, and it has to do with actually meeting people. And I'm hoping that everybody here that's watching is actually pretty good at making new friends, but if you're not, then um, this video will definitely help you make friends. So I've decided to place it upon myself to educate you guys as to the things that you can say and you can't say to different musicians when you're meeting them for the first time. Generally speaking, you're pretty well off if you stick to the compliments when you're dealing with musicians for the first time. Oh well, you know, I don't really care if you were listening to my interpretation of Schubert when I was playing it, said no musician ever. So my suggestion is to find good things to say about a musician's performance or even the way that they dress or the way that they put up their hair so that you can make a new friend. So I've compiled a list of things that you can and cannot say based on the musician and what they play. You can thank me later. And I hope that after watching this video, it will help you make more friends in the music world. Uh, natural light is really hard to deal with. Here we go, and in no particular order. Pianists. Do. I really appreciated how you paid special attention to the melodic line and how to voice your chords. Don't. I wasn't really convinced about the pedaling that you were using. I thought that you used way too much pedal for Beethoven. Violinists. Do. Wow, your runs were so clear and precise. They were absolutely amazing. Don't. I had an issue with your double stops. They were kind of out of tune. Could you fix them, please? Bassoonists. Do. I was really excited to hear you play that beautiful melodic line with such great legato. Don't. <laughs> your instrument sounds like farting. Saxophonists. Do? Is that a new neck piece you bought? I really thought that that neck piece helped you get a warmer tone in your sound. Is that made of silver or platinum? Do not. Why would you buy a neck piece that didn't match the color of your instrument? It's just so aesthetically unpleasing. Trombonists. Do? Man, your sixth position was amazing. I really don't know any other trombonist that can play it with such clarity. Don't. Dude, you have to fix those position changes. They're really sloppy. Violists. Do. I was really interested in your interpretation of the Bach cello suites. I really enjoyed the amount of space that you use between really important sections and cadences. Don't. Wow, I really love the interpretation that you had with the Bach cello suites. I hear it's a lot easier on the viola than it is on the cello. Clarinetists. Do. Wow, your tone was amazing. There was such a warmth and depth to the music that you were playing today. Don't. Now, I know it's not your fault because the clarinet doesn't make a very nice vibrato sound, but could you do something about that? Sopranos. Do. I really enjoyed watching you today. It was really great to see how convincing it was for you to use your hand gestures and your body movements to portray the character that you were singing. Don't. Could you possibly sing without looking like you're about to take a big dump? So I hope those things help you to figure out the do's and don'ts when talking to musicians for the first time. I hope it helps you to make new friends, and I hope that your circle of friends will grow larger. Remember to subscribe to us on Musetta Stone here on YouTube, and also to find us on Facebook and at www.musettastone.com. The links are located below underneath this video. 
Now, if you guys haven't noticed that um, the music is not Linus and Lucy anymore, I actually have a friend who wrote the background music for me. His name is Christopher Shao, and you can find him and his website underneath as well. So I hope you guys support him and check out what he's got to offer. Until next time, bye. Man, I blink a lot.